friends. I just got out of a grueling round of golf, 18 holes, walked it. Um, yeah, very tired at the moment. So what better way to get over a horrible round of golf than some toy therapy? So I'm sitting here at Target right now. I don't know if you guys have seen, but with the Holothon coming out with NECA and Target, a lot of the um, shelves are starting to be uh, stocked with some of these new Ninja Turtle items and also some of the gargoyles um, that's coming out. So I'm gonna go in and see if I can find any. It'll make me, hopefully make me feel a little bit better after the round I just shot. All right, see you inside. So my Target had restocked a few items. Funko wise, the best thing was this Masters of the Universe glow in the dark evil Lynn. Funko Pop and an awesome t-shirt from Target Con, which I'll show off later. We have these Ninja Turtle Funko shirt sets, which aren't selling anytime soon, as well as these Funko art pieces here that I'll scan over here in a second, which I'm not a huge fan of either. NECA-wise, there wasn't a whole lot new. Uh, the NECA rep hadn't been there yet for a holothon, so encouraging. There was three Channel 6 new sets. So if you're not seeing them at your local store there, don't give up. I'm sure they're probably still going to trickle in, as well as we had the frogs and wingnut screw loose as well. But again, no holothon items yet. So I'm going to pause the video here for a second on this photo and give a little story. So I was watching this teenager there who I could tell was looking at his phone a lot at certain prices and just kind of hovering over the NECA section. And there was a new Holothon Ninja Turtle 4-pack there that I saw him eyeing. And I was over on the other aisle, just standing there behind him, watching, watching him to see what he was going to do. I watched him pick it up, move over to the left out of my vision, and he came back empty-handed and walked away. And I told my wife, my wife was with me, and I said, I think he went over here and hid this. And I don't know, for some reason, just doing that, I, I felt like he, it was very shady. And uh, I'm like, man, someone else could probably really want this. And this kid just went over here and <laughs> hit it. Never know if he's going to actually pick it up or anything. And who knows how long it'll be before someone finds it. So I walked over there and found it uh, behind some kid toys, uh, as well as a, a huge McFarlane Swamp Thing figure. And uh, I don't know. I thought it was pretty funny. I walked by the wall or the, the Target employee who I had just had a conversation with about when the holothon items were going to be put out. So she had asked me if I had found anything, which I thought was my, I thought was pretty funny, especially my response back to her. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you think that was a jerk move on my part, if I should have left it there or if I did the toy community a, um, a solid by <laughs> picking it back up and putting it back on the shelf for someone else to get. I saw, it. I saw somebody hide this over there, so I'm putting it back for you. <laughs> Again, I don't know if I did this kid bad or if I did toy community is solid, but let me know. But this four pack looks pretty awesome. I already have um, two sets of the cartoon turtles, so there was no reason for me to get this. So. Um, I did put it back for someone else to get. Box was ripped there a little bit, but by the way, on the back, do you see the the Bebop and Rocksteady coming out? I'm still looking for those. Hopefully, my target gets them pretty soon. Hey, friends! I'm back in the toy room, so I do want to share with you the the figures that I was able to pick up on my recent visit to Target. Um, I, had, I don't know if I shared this in the video, but obviously, when I was there, the Necker rep hadn't been there yet, so no holothon items at the point when I made this video, other than that one four pack turtle. So I think what happened was. There was a generous Target employee, a uh, customer came up and said, hey, I'm looking for this item. Target employee went out and brought back that one item uh, for them to look at, and they just didn't want to buy it, so they left it on the shelf because there was literally nothing else there. So I made sure to go back and check like at least once a day for the next four or five days until I finally found a fully stocked shelf of all the holothon items. So I was able to get everything I wanted from Wave 1, 
Now I'm doing the exact same thing for Wave 2. Got to get that Bebop and Rocksteady that came out. Also still looking for Demona. Wasn't able to find Demona either. Um, but I was able to get Troubles Afoot, the Deluxe Foot Soldier. So I already have four Foot Soldiers already. Didn't need another one. But I did want to get this purely just for the accessories. So I'm going to be able to add some of these to my current Foot Soldiers. Um, and I think it's going to make them pop even more inside my cabinet. So, And you can never have enough Foot Soldiers, right? Uh, the next two things I got are some awesome glow-in-the-dark figures, which I'm going to be able to turn off my light here in a second and show you up against the black light what they look like. But first is the glow-in-the-dark Muck Man. But this guy, I'm going to do a detailed unboxing for this, but it looks, it's almost identical from what I can tell so far from the one that already came out that I have, other than it being glow-in-the-dark, which I love glow-in-the-dark stuff. Um, this doesn't really look much like other than shape, I mean, I don't know, were there VHSs called Sewer, or Sewer, Sewer Hero series? Let me know in the comments. I may have been out of, I may have moved on to Power Rangers by that point um, with Turtles. I watched Turtles for the first four or five seasons regularly, but then at some point in the mid-90s, I shifted over to the Power Rangers, so I don't remember Sewer Hero series. Um, let me know. And then second was... The second glow in the dark thing was this Masters of the Universe, which I shared on the video. They did have that, which is an Evil Lynn Funko Pop glow in the dark, but that wasn't what I wanted it for. I wanted it for this awesome shirt that says Evil Warriors of Snake Mountain. Um, so I'm going to stand up and just show you this shirt. It's one of the coolest shirts I think I own now. What I love about these Funko Pop shirts, too, is they don't look like, they're not kitty. They don't look like Funko Pops to me. It just looks any other cool shirt um, that you're going to get from a Masters of the Universe shirt. And this has all the main villains on it. I, I just I can't wait to wear this out. It's got some of my favorite colors. Purple is my favorite color. So, big Don Tello fan, obviously, with my logo. I mean, I love purple. And, uh, yeah, I, I love this shirt so much. But, okay, so next, uh, let's wrap up the video by showing you what these figures look like in the dark up against the black light. All right, so I'm going to show Evil Lynn off. Well, actually, let's show them both off. So I've not even hit Muck Man with a black lot yet. You can already see it coming through a little bit. Let's save that guy for the end. So Evil Lynn, with these black lights, you, what I've found, you got to, they're fairly cheap, by the way. I was able to go to Fre or Harbor Freight today and get this one for like eight bucks. So if you have any glow in the dark figures, getting a black light is a must. You can't just expect it to glow that well without the black light. Um, so let's let it sit here for a few seconds, get her glowing really good. All right, so it looks like, wow. That's pretty good for a black light pop figure. I'm excited about that. Yeah, I'm glad to have that in my collection. All right, let's move on to Muckman. So what's cool about this is the box glows also. Hold on, let me move Evil Lynn out of the way. I don't wanna knock her over. All right, so let's put some black light up against the box itself, see what it looks like. Whoa. Now that's cool. Good job, NECA. That's an awesome way to do the box there um, to make it unique with glow in the dark aspect. Okay, let's see what's inside. Oh, my man. All right. I'm hoping this guy glows really well. I mean, uh, go back and watch um, my glow in the dark black lot video that I have. It's it's pretty early on in my YouTube journey, so um, just scroll up and, and you'll be able to find it. But I go over a tutorial of what to do with black light figures and how to make them look really good, and um, I I share the Super Seven glow in the dark Mumra. And that's probably the best figure I have, glow in the dark wise. Super Seven just does such a good, great job with their glow in the dark figures. So go back and look at that, and uh, it'll be a good comparison. All right, here we go. Uh, that's, I mean, that's pretty good. Honestly, it looks better on video than it does in person. 
So I don't know how long it'll actually hold that glow. I mean, that's still pretty good, I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. That's not too bad. I like it, again, because it's unique. This is NECA's first glow-in-the-dark figure that I can remember. Um, as far as Turtles Wise goes, I don't I don't think they've... They definitely haven't done one, I would know. Um, they've not done one yet, as far as the cartoon series goes. Super 7's obviously got the Baxter Stockman and also the... Um, the uh, Mutagen Man. I about forgot his name. The Mutagen Man that are glow in the dark. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So that and then Evil Lynn. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. It's pretty good looking uh, glow in the dark figures, I think. All right, that wraps up this video. Uh, I'll probably have a few more, I think, for hopefully Holothon Part 2. Hopefully, I don't strike out there. Also, this past weekend, I went to a local toy show. Um, so I did record that, so I'll be posting that soon. And I'm also going to Lexington, Kentucky here this weekend to see the one and only Kevin Eastman. One of my childhood idols uh, meant a lot to me growing up watching Ninja Turtles. Very, very significant portion of my life there was spent watching <laughs> Ninja Turtle cartoons. So I owe a lot to Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. So I can't wait to meet Kevin Eastman. Ben Bishop's going to be there too. Really looking forward to seeing him. But yeah, stay tuned for awesome more content here and if you like it, please make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. See you next time.